to be able to supply safe drinking water is one of the biggest challenges and one of the most important goals for humanity, I would say. The invention is basically a very energy efficient disinfection reactor that can uh, produce disinfected water by UV lids. That is enough to degrade microorganisms and particularly destroy the structure of the DNA in the microorganisms so that they cannot proliferate. We have about 100 units in uh, operation mainly in Sweden but also some in Bangladesh actually. An interesting development that has taken place in parallel with UV LED development is the, the use of the solar panels that can produce electricity in field. And now we have a system so we can actually have a solar panel that gives electricity enough to operate the UV LEDs that gives a substantial disinfection of water. It is important to know that United Nations have uh, estimated that the number of people who do not have access to safe drinking water today, 2015, is in the range of 700 to 800 million people. And there is an estimate that maybe up to 6 million people annually die due to waterborne diseases. And that is so ridiculous because we have a technology and we have a systems of how to deal with, with uh, water supply and how to make sure that it doesn't have to happen.